And welcome back to It's All About the Youth Football Sports Talk Show. Man, I'm enjoying myself, man. I missed you guys, man. A whole week has gone by. I haven't seen you, baby. But I got some great, great, great things going on. We have some great things going on throughout the country. And it's called football season. It's here. That's right. Football season kicks off really soon. Preseason NFL kicks off. I tell you what, college football is about to happen for us. And Friday night lights is going to happen. But most of all, that Saturday and that Sunday that we look forward to is about to happen too. The little ones, man. The life, the bloodline of what we love best about this game. The infants all the way up to the senior level of the game of football. I love it, man. I personally love it so much. And I love to see the growth of it. But today, we're going to get into it. After you finish high school, what should you do? I didn't have the grades. Uh, is football season over for me? Is my life and career over with, with football? Maybe I need a second chance. Do I go to prep route or do I go to semi-pro route? We got some great guests that are going to be on today and talk about it. Hey, we're going to keep a lot of things really real today about the process to redeem your life, redeem your career. A lot of guys have done it. A lot of guys have been through adversity and shook back. So let's find out what the process looks like when you shake back. What do you need to do? We're going to get some information from some guys who I consider to be pretty much experts in the business because they, they've gone through it. They're going through it right now with their teams in prep ball and in semi-pro. Some guys I really respect in the game. And I'll tell you what, you're going to get some good information about it. We're going to have some real talk with, amongst friends or adversity. We don't know what's going to happen. I don't know, but I'm excited about it. Hey, I tell you what, man, we've had some great shows. If you haven't been on demand to check me out, check, out, check us out, please go to lysntv.com and check out our on-demand segment because it's all about the youth. Stay tuned because we're going to get into this prep versus semi-pro. I don't know. It's all about the youth. Keep it locked. For every Color Rush jersey purchased, the NFL donates to youth programs nationwide. Dylan Evans running back. For guys like Dylan. Yeah, baby. Let's light up the neighborhood. Do you need to say great job, congratulations, or way to go? Crown Trophy on Sherwood Forest Boulevard in Baton Rouge has the trophy, plaque, acrylic, or crystal award you're looking for. Whether it's for your team, business, or church, come to Crown Trophy. We guarantee the highest level of customer service and there's no charge for rush orders or trophy engraving. We're nationally known and locally owned. Visit us online to view our catalog at www.crowntrophy.com. No! Every Color Rush jersey purchased, the NFL donates to youth programs nationwide. Zawalski Moss, quarterback. For guys like Zawalski, let's light up the neighborhood. At Roadrunner Towing, we love our God, our children, our nation, and yes, our sports. So, let's play ball. big when you need to tow, either in East Baton Rouge or West Baton Rouge. Because at Roadrunner Towing, we don't want an arm and a leg. We just we want, want your toes. Yeah! For every Color Rush jersey purchased, the NFL donates to youth programs nationwide. Caleb Dansburg, center. For guys like Caleb. Let's light up the neighborhood.
Welcome back to It's All About the Youth Sports Talk Show. I am your host, Aaron Sutton, man, and we have some phenomenal guests here with me. And like I said, we're going to get into a great, great discussion today. We're going to talk about prep ball, prep ball versus semi-pro. What route should you take? Should it be that I leave high school if I didn't have the academic success that I needed to have, but I was a phenomenal athlete and I just need a second chance, and I didn't get a chance to go to JUCO? Should I just go to the semi-pro team in my community or travel to a city nearby and play for the semi-pro team until I get it together to go to try out for a JUCO or a collegiate team? Should I go to a semi-pro, I mean, a, a prep school team and work out with them, become a member of their team, and go out and try out for a JUCO or, or a collegiate team from that route. I have some great guests here, and I'm gonna start by allowing them to introduce themselves. To my left, I have. I'm Coach Ross Akpan. I'm the head coach of the Bayou Prep Gators here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay, Coach Ross. Joe Bean, um, commissioner of the Southern American Football League, owner of the Baton Rouge River Bowl Bandits and um, state chairman for the NAACP for athletics and recreation. Good deal. Joe Bean. Quinn Dixon, better known as Coach Q. I'm the head coach of Louisiana Prep Pitbulls. Good deal, man. Hey, man, first of all, I want to say, man, thank you all for coming out. And I, these guys are sitting here, they, you know, everybody's sitting all kind of mm -hmm. serious, you know, but these guys are my personal friends, man. Mm -hmm. I've been knowing them for years, everybody here, so I know a little bit about everybody's program. Mm -hmm. um, and watch the, their programs actually grow and mature in a lot of ways. Um, just my first question, man. Like, tell me, tell me, Coach Q, why would I want to be a part of your organization? You want to be a part of our organization because we have some talented coaches that's going to help build the skill level, on um, the football IQ, the knowledge, and prepare you for college, not just the football route, but. Uh, a lot of the kids don't, uh, is not ready for college themselves. So coming to this program, we have a lot of uh, tutors, we have uh, counselors. I'm also a counselor myself. Okay. So, um, you know, I have a background on mental health counseling. So, so you, get a, you get an opportunity to work with them from in all the whole, the whole, whole list. Athlete. Okay, good deal. Coach Bean, tell me, tell me about, I mean, being a commissioner, that means you have multiple teams. You, you, you stretch a bro. How far out do you guys reach? Um, the Southern region. The okay. Southern American Football League covers um, Baton Rouge, Lafayette, Lake Charles, Jackson, Mississippi, the Gulf Coast. Um, I run 10 teams on my own, but there's teams that are in the league from Pensacola, Florida, from Mobile, Alabama that I don't own, but they are in the league. Okay. So tell me, why would I want to? Why would I want to be become a member or uh, affiliated with with what you have going on right now? If I'm a kid that's is looking for an opportunity or a second chance? Well, um, I have 25 years of history in the minor league football, semi-pro football. Um, the Bandits is the oldest team in the South. They've okay. been around 22 years. So that's a pretty long time. We've seen pretty much everything that the minor league or semi-pro can take a player. Um, basically, we're just looking for young men, 18 and older, who still have the desire to play football. Okay. We want to um, give those guys that 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 that's missing something. Um, that after high school, who felt like they didn't leave the game like they wanted to leave it, um, and we're, we're starting to see that these programs that we have are really helping those young men from the ones who can't go to college, who can't um, continue their career. They're coming out here playing minor league football and. It's stopping the domestic violence, the drugs, the hanging out. So, so you're using, you know, you're saying domestic violence and hanging out. Is that is that your your, I guess your vehicle for what you're pushing? Yeah, it's one of the avenues we do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good deal, Coach Ross. So, what's your primary focus? Why should I want to be a part of what you have going on? We're Opportunity University mm -hmm. at Bayou Prep. Um, the biggest thing is about having the opportunity. We have a lot of our young men in our community and other communities surrounding this area that just don't get the opportunity. You coached at the high school level, everybody here has worked at the high school level and saw that young man that had the athletic prowess to go forward, but because of grades, because of a certain amount of exposure, where he comes from, whatever the reason may be, he didn't get that shot, that opportunity. 
So what ends up happening is he either has to say, well, there's nothing for me and I'm just going to stay here in the street and figure out, you know, life from here on out. Or I can reach out into something and have an opportunity to continue my football career through this program. And what we do is we're using it as the carrot to dangle in front of his face to get this guy to continue to go to school, to continue to set some other goals for himself. Mm -hmm. The program is not just about football because we turn around, a lot of these programs are, they're a factory. They're churning them in, they're churning them out. This is a family. We're trying to help young men become real men and start taking care of their communities. And we use this football vehicle to get them there. Okay. Now, a lot of these kids wouldn't be going to school or doing these things without it. Okay, and, and like I said, I just want to give you guys an opportunity to share your viewpoint of why you're, why you're involved in it, what, what's your, the, the, the vehicle that you're pushing, and why, why are you pushing your, your position in the game as far as with whether you're semi-pro, whether you're prep ball, you know, because a lot of people have different views about it, mm -hmm. you know. Some people feel like it's a money ploy. Honestly, some people feel like it's a money ploy where a kid comes and you're selling them wolf tickets, meaning I come play semi-pro ball, I got a shot to go travel, and I mean to play, play semi-pro ball, the Saints are going to discover me. Do the, do the NFL teams actually sign people from your organization? Have, has it ever happened from semi-pro? Have you ever met a guy that got signed? Yeah, I've had um, several players, Lake Charles, um, Reggie Williams, um, Doug Coleman played years of arena football. He's in um, minor league football hall of fame. Reggie Hilliard, I mean Reggie Williams, played for the um, Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Um, I've had guys get workouts with teams and so forth. Okay, so and vice versa for you guys. Has any guy went on from your organization right now, signed to sign with a collegiate program? Last year we had 21 kids move on from our program into four-year universities and junior college. Okay, was it was it paid or is it is it partial? What paid was, and paid and okay. partial. Um, we had two kids, matter of fact, that made it into Power Five schools. One kid is at University of Indiana, one of my running backs, and then I have a quarterback at LSU. Okay, and he made it. At, he made it on partial as a walk on, but the film that he took from his post grad time and the classes and things that we put together for him helped him be able to get in the school and get that opportunity. Hats off to you guys. And I, I look at. Those those stories. How about how about you? Yes, we didn't had uh, kids from both years go. Uh, as you know, he was on a uh, staff with us, and we had a uh, kicker that actually got had an opportunity of a lifetime <laughs> in the Indo facility by himself. So, uh, like he said, the opportunity is there. You okay. just have to. The kids have to do what they supposed to do in the classroom mm -hmm. and on the field, and the, the rest will take care of themselves. So, with those kind of stories, those kind of testimonial you, testimonials, you able to to reach in your bag and pull out. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you motivate a kid when you walk in front of them? You say, "Well, it's going to take you four thousand dollars because I, I'm sure." Is there any funding available for your programs outside? Like, I'm a parent sitting here with my son who got into some trouble. Mm -hmm. You understand? He got he he got a drug charge. Mm -hmm. But he's a hell of an athlete. He was all state, all American. Is there any funding for this program? How how, how do we how what, we, tell me about it? Well, my program is based of uh, nonprofit, uh, and we take on uh, the kids have fees to play, pay. Uh, we get uh, sponsors, donations, and anybody that sponsor donators is a tax write off. So we try to help the community with that. So if the parent is paying uh, at the end of the year they get a tax right off for that. Okay. Well, I mean, that's one avenue. But, yeah, that's one avenue. I mean, but to operate, it's got to be some kind of, <laughs> oh, yeah. some money got to be oh, yeah. shared out. Let's, I mean, football costs. We, let's be honest yeah. with ourselves. Football is an expensive yeah. sport. Yeah, it's one of and, the most expensive. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. And to make it work, of course, you need funds. Mm -hmm. And what we've done in our program is, you know, of course there's fees associated, but the reason why my program exists is because that kid from Louisiana couldn't afford to go to Virginia and New Jersey and all those places and play in post-grad programs that cost them $10,000 to get into. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we put the program together and how you get your fees paid is through different work avenues that we've got set up through our community leaders so that, yeah, he's paying his fees, but he's also learning a job, a job trade with somebody. He's working things with like Aramark and LSU different things like that. He's earning his keep. So he has the opportunity to still play. He has the opportunity to pay his fees, but he's also doing something else. We're gonna reach out past 
the football field and keep you moving in several different directions. So that also helps mom and dad. When mom and dad say, well, I really want to help my kid go forward, but I can't afford you know, to put that out. I got three and four other kids to, to feed. Right. I can't afford to put 3,000, 2,000, 50 for little Jimmy to do when I got JJ, Ray Ray, Shay Shay, and Nene too. I understand. So so it's, it's a tough it's a tough battle that parents face, but I just wanted to hear it out of your mouth that you can sit in front of a parent and say, we have avenues to help a kid to be able to afford. How about how about with Semi-Pro? Oh, uh, well, what our game is it's kind of different. Um, mm -hmm. Players are responsible for their own helmets and shoulder pads. Okay. Me as an owner, I'm making sure each of my teams have three uniforms. Three uniforms. We don't ask the guys to pay any fees, but we pay for the refs by the guys. For each home game, each player is responsible for $10. Okay. I take care of the stadium. I take care of the insurance on the stadium. Um, our coaches are volunteers, local police officers, guys who still love the game. We're getting those guys who still have to go out there in the workforce, who work at the plant, who still want to play football. Okay. So, you know, it's a different type of demographic. So, so, so with that being said, I mean, I know we had, we titled this, you know, which, what, what route is the best route, semi-pro versus um, um, prep ball, but it sounds like you guys are actually on two different paths of talking to two different demographics of people. Mm -hmm. If I, I mean, me listening to it, I mean, you're talking to a working class guy who, who's, who's looking at himself as I still got a little bit more because I'm talking about it at the water cooler. But we're also you know addressing those 18 year olds who want to still play football and don't want to go to school. So, so we're still addressing those guys also. I get it. So what, what I'm getting at is this. So if a guy is in a position, I don't want to, I'm not looking for a college opportunity, mm -hmm. and I just want to play football, then this, this is a good opportunity for you to continue to play semi-pro ball. And if you want to come to go to college, you can come out here and play with us for two years and still go to college. You're not going to receive anything monetary, so you're not going to have any NCAA violations. Okay. So we've had guys come out here and still go to college and play ball. Okay. Well, and that's something that's to clear up too, because the the label of the title semi pro can simulate uh, uh, make people think that you're getting paid. I don't you know? use the fir phrase semi, semi pro, and like I said, the Bandits are the oldest team. Okay. We use minor league football. So minor league, minor league. That's, semi -pro what, that's where we go. Paycheck. Well, you know, well. it, 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 can, it can sound like that. You know right. I mean? Right. See anything with pro professional attached right. to it? Most people will assume that it's some kind of revenue being right. being yeah. generated from it. You know. So and I look at. You know, the second chance you, second chance mm -hmm. opportunity, you know, are, are you guys really considering yourselves the tier below Jake, the junior college? Or are you considering yourself equivalent to junior college? I'm be very honest. What I do you consider, consider yourself? Equivalent to junior college. Because, especially like here, we have no junior college football in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. there, that opportunity is not available. Okay. And so, not only is the opportunity not available, that kid from Louisiana, let's say he wants to go to Mississippi to play. Mississippi can only take eight kids from out of state. So the likelihood eight of them kids and out from out of state from with a out scholarship. of state of Mississippi with a scholarship. With a scholarship. Okay. So the likelihood of that Louisiana college, that Louisiana kid getting that scholarship, mm -hmm. is, is slim and slim to none. So we're giving them the opportunity on the exact same level. They're taking college courses at a credit university at a community college, doing the same thing that that guy would do at the JUCO in Mississippi, Texas, or wherever. Okay. So, coach, you feel the same way about? Yes. It? Yes, because. Uh, we are, like you say, we are the same thing. They are taking classes. To play with us in, in the conference, you have to be a college student. Okay, so, so every kid, if I went down your roster, both of y'all roster, every kid that's on your team is enrolled in somebody's school. Yes, sir. Has okay, regardless of their age, demographics, all those things, meaning if I'm, I'm uh, 25 to to 27, would you take a kid like that? We can't, can't take that. So what do you do? You recommend them to? We recommend yes. them, correct. To, to go. To, so do you guys work together and share kids? I just, I, 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 just, I, just look, I just told him I got some people for him. Don't come on my show. Tonight. We'll get into that when we get back. It's all about the youth. Semi-pro versus prep ball. I don't know. We'll find out when we get back. For every Color Rush jersey purchased, the NFL donates to youth programs nationwide. For guys like these. Let's light up the neighborhood. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling. Nothing can the 
feeling. At Roadrunner Towing, we love our God, our children, our nation, and yes, our sports. So let's play ball. big when you need to tow, either in East Baton Rouge or West Baton Rouge. Because at Roadrunner Towing, we don't want an arm and a leg, we just we want, want your toes. Tow. For every Color Rush jersey purchased, the NFL donates to youth programs nationwide. Dylan Evans running back. For guys like Dylan. Yeah, baby. Let's light up the neighborhood. Do you need to say great job, congratulations, or way to go? Crown Trophy on Sherwood Forest Boulevard in Baton Rouge has the trophy, plaque, acrylic, or crystal award you're looking for. Whether it's for your team, business, or church, come to Crown Trophy. We guarantee the highest level of customer service, and there's no charge for rush orders or trophy engraving. We're nationally known and locally owned. Visit us online to view our catalog at www.crowntrophy.com. For every Color Rush jersey purchased, the NFL donates to youth programs nationwide. Zawalski Moss, quarterback. For guys like Zawalski, let's light up the neighborhood. And welcome back to It's All About the Youth, man. Hey, we're into it. It's real. I'm your host, Aaron Sutton, and we're talking about it. Prep ball versus semi-pro. Or minor league. <laughs> or post-grant. Post -grant. There you go. We got a few different ones. We can call go. it, right? There you go. So I have a few great guys here, a few great phenomenal guys here. May I let them introduce themselves one more time? I'm Coach Ross, head coach, Bayou Prep Gators in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay. Joe Bean, Southern American Football League, Baton Rouge, Triple Bowl Bandits, Minor League Football Team. Okay. Quinn Dixon, Coach Q, Louisiana Prep Pit Bulls. Okay, good to go. We had a we had a good conversation started right before we took to the break, man. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about, you know, coach, if you if you were maxed out, what's your max number of players that you actually would take into your program? My max number of players that I would take is sixty. Sixty guys. Sixty, 60 guys. How about you, Coach? There's no limit for us. No limit? No limit. No limit soldiers, huh? 40. 40? Coach, you are you 40. You need 40. to be able to get on one bus. One bus. <laughs> That's what it is. 40. <laughs> wait, wait. wait got, got some, hey, wait. we just talked about finances. <laughs> wait, hold on. They got a bus? <laughs> <laughs> so how you guys getting around? Well, uh, story. Uh, <laughs> back in 2000, uh, the bandits were going to play a team up there in Dallas, Texas. The bus broke down. Uh-huh. Nobody had no money, right. so it was a U-Haul. We pulled up to the stadium in the U-Haul. Wait a minute. And everybody Wait a minute. jumped out the back of the U-Haul. <laughs> How many the hours ball? did y'all ride? <laughs> uh, I think it was an hour and a half left to get there. So you guys got it. We, got, we, we made it so, to our game. So basically you said uh, minor league semi-pro ball is by any means necessary. Any means necessary. So are y'all like the longest yard? Like, uh, we're pretty close to it. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of stories I can say. Hey, hey, man. Hey, so, hey, hey we, we keep it. We keep it open and honest on this show. So tell me, tell me about an experience. Where, where do you guys practice at? Uh, we practice in that uh, democracy prep. Okay. Uh, that's where I work at. Um, okay. I'm over there as a uh, counselor over so there. So you guys rolling there. How about you guys? We're practicing at um, the old TCA, okay. the old church, Christian life. How about you guys? And we're at um, Kenilworth Middle School. Okay. 
So yeah. you guys have some 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 home fields that you're able to get some work and good mm. work in. Yeah, it's yep. been a, a, a thing over the years. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I look at I look at I look at that in itself right now. You know, just how do you guys do? You guys, I mean, you guys are all in in this in state. Will you will you play him? Will we play him? Yeah, I don't know if they would want to play us. Uh, well, see. hold on, one second. <laughs> hold on. I, I, I think just I asked did. the question. Yeah. We, we, would you play? Would you play a, a prep game versus semi pro game? Will we can we see that? I don't know. See, this I, is the problem. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me, uh, let me, let me. I just want I you guys know. are getting a little testy here, man. No, no, I, no. Joe, Joe Bean looked at me. He said, "If they want it, I mean, if they this, want it." The honest. Does that mean that I, I, I'm holding it back? I know you want. So does that mean you think it wouldn't be a fair game? I think it wouldn't be fair. I think the youth would be, you know, an is energy. it coaching? Is it coaching? No, would it no, be a disparity coaching. in coaching? Just, just, what would it be? Just, we're putting. I'm going to put a 38 year old man right. on the field with a, a, a 19 year old. You just kid. said you got some 18 year olds. I too. do, and he's going to be in the backfield. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you say you got grown man strength, then you got some young boys back yeah. there. Yeah, and okay. then I have those pastors on my team and those lawyers, and you see, I, I have a different breed, a dynamic that I'm going to bring to the field. Okay. So yeah. what? I mean, what does that have to do with football, though? Like, oh, it has a lot to do with it. If, okay. if the guy feels like he still hasn't got it out of the system and he's keeping himself he's a coach so and he, he's out there with them young men every day you know okay so uh, so what do you feel like your your viewpoint would be on it? i got some young bulls that gonna show them <laughs> look this is why you stop doing this right now this is why you're supposed this to quit. i mean because this is why you co- supposed nfl to coach right stands for not for long not for long mm-hmm. football has an expiration date Correct. on it in That's my right. eyes Correct. i mean because i mean now i look at football from just me personally somebody get hit hard Mm. At one point in time, I used to be like, ooh, that's good. Yes. Yes. Now yes. I look like, mm. ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> I felt it. I felt that. You, know, tomorrow, <laughs> you need tomorrow, go go see, you need to go see the chiropractor and right. get you together. Right. Right. Coach, would you would you be interested in doing that? Yeah, I would. Is that possible? I, I don't know about possible. possible. What, how many what kind of draw would we have? You, you, great I mean, just for a pre season. Oh, there, there you go. go. There there you a go. preseason go. jamboree style. Towards the top. And now this is the thing. In other areas, they do that. They do. They do. The, we're 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 blessed that we're in an opportunity where we're in a national conference. Okay. So we don't have to really reach too right. far for games. In mm-hmm. national conference, I got six, seven games that are set coach, up before. Coach, I walk I'm out talking the about tune up, coach. But this is what I'm trying to get I'm you to understand. I'm talking about it's nothing like getting a tune lot of up. these teams. A lot of teams in the other parts of the country that do this, they have to. That's the only way they can have fill out their schedule. Right. They have to play games against minor league teams and things of that nature so they can fill their schedule. I'm talking about just a good old t- Man, we need to see this, man. I it need, would be I'm not it be great for Baton Rouge. I mean, cuz I mean, I've heard I've heard several things. I mean, I'm going to just let's be honest. Y'all got different viewpoints on what oh, yeah. how, how you share with me, coach. Share with me how, what's your viewpoint on on semi pro? I mean, on on prep ball. My viewpoint, well, I've just been brought to my attention the last 2 years. Okay. And I was like, whoa, what is this? Mm-hmm. Because it just came out of nowhere. And mm-hmm. then I got guys calling me and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, man, I don't know nothing about this. And then right. I'm getting phone calls. And never met Q, but knew a Ross, yeah. from, you know, being out. And so I was in discombobbled about it. I really didn't know. So I started doing research on it. And I started finding out about teams, the bad side. Right. Okay. So when I started finding out about the bad side, I went, whoa. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to, you know, you didn't hey, man, you wasn't for it. Uh, oh, I wasn't for it. So okay. I stayed away from it. Okay. And that's basically, you know. So what is your position? I mean, after seeing these guys and what they've done this past season and up to now, how do you feel about it? My main thing is if you're giving young men an opportunity, keeping them off the streets, giving them something positive to do, I'm all for it. Okay. I'm all for so, it. So what I'm saying, what I'm hearing out of your mouth is you just possible, right? I, I want to hear from one of you guys. Q? What is your views on 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 semi pro? What have your views? What have your view, views been in the past? Too? I loved it. I always thought semi pro was a good deal. Uh, mm-hmm. Like you said, any time to give a person something positive to do, especially in an area like Baton Rouge, it's a wonderful thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do believe that coming out of high school prep is the route because uh, we we are playing colleges. We are going to play colleges, and the uh, coaches get to see the players as they playing. Uh, we also have a home college game. So, you know, 
coming out of high school and want still having that itch for college, I would say pro. Yeah. But if you don't want college, it's, it got to be semi-pro. That's the okay. only thing left. Okay. Well, talk to me. It, it, it what, was your view, what was your views in the beginning? Now, I'm going to be very honest. My view in the beginning, because I didn't have a lot of knowledge of it, was semi-pro is for that older guy who I already have a job, college may not be for me, but I still have that itch to play some ball mm -hmm. and get out there and play football. I don't mind knocking some heads around. Mm -hmm. And actually, until I met Joe B. I don't say knocking ago, heads, man. That's the that's truth. Uh, that's that's that what they do. Knock the head. That's the see, truth. I, see, now you, you, you attack me. Honest. Is he attacking? Do y'all teach proper tackling uh, techniques? I know. I wasn't no. saying they don't teach proper hey, tackling hey, techniques. One of the you do that out there. One of the things you one of the ask the One of the things I tell all my coaches from Lafayette to Lake Charles, we don't have time to teach no guy. That was your guy's job. Wait a minute. We just tell them X's and O's. All right. And so, so we so won the L with yeah, the not more We did right. the We had some A. Where did you go? All of a sudden, laugh. Okay. So I'm we the guy the teaching skills. skills. Right. I'm the guy getting out there every day, skill, will, drill, every day. Because this is school. This is we still in college playing mm -hmm. ball. They have to learn proper technical techniques with me. They have to learn how what's the difference between that nine and that seven. Right. They got to learn all those things. And that's far your real differences between mm -hmm. a kid that's playing post-grad and a kid that's playing semi-pro. You might have that kid that's 18 years old and he realizes, I am not a school person. I can't do it <laughs> this way. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to go semi-pro. But guess what? You need to already know some of this stuff because they're not there to teach you that. Exactly. Now, okay. if you're that kid coming out of that so, high school and all you need is a little tutelage, right. you come over to Big Dad and I'm going to make sure you're straight by the time you leave. Okay. We well, expect the guy to know a 24 lead dive or cover two. <laughs> So you 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 looking for a guy that's 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 coming in the in the in in the vein of hey man I know how to play football I just need an opportunity to play pretty much right yeah you looking for a guy that's looking hey man I may have been a little underdeveloped I finally mm -hmm. got it together yes. at the end a little bit but I had some roadblocks ninth grade I had academic issues right. and as you I, know ninth tenth yeah. grade if it's wrong it's yeah. gonna be wrong so <laughs> I, I I fell off the wagon and but I can get it together but I'm I need some I need a little polish. I'm looking right. for the guy, period. We okay. have it, uh, With our program, we want the guy, period. Our program, we're encompassing every facet of what kid could possibly go for. Coach Ben, I got $500. I can still play? Yeah. For how much it costs? Oh, there's no cost to play for us. I'm just, as long as I got my helmet and shoulder, shoulder pad, pad, and I can pay for and the you're referee. You're making those practices. Now, hold on. Mm -hmm. We only practice two days a week, Tuesday and Thursday nights. Okay. How about you guys? How often do you practice? Six days. Six days a week. Huh? Six, Six days. days a week. Right now we're in two days. This yeah. real this is the real deal. This, we have to give you exactly what you're going to get when you go to the next level. So you guys got film, the whole Oh you, no. You it's, you a prep, film? it's a prep school, yeah. so we prepare yeah, we them for so, college. Right. Okay. We're preparing right. them. That's why we saying skills. IQ. We are teaching that. We're not getting mad at you because you don't know because so, that's our job. That's what, what our focus is. So, so I've heard you say you have other interests and other business investments and stuff. Is this your main job? Is that one of your main no, jobs? No, no, no. I've been the dean of students at local high schools here. I'm okay. um, dean of students at Capitol, the Struma. Um, I have a, a lot of work um, right. with the NAACP, and um, I'm a dean at a local elementary right now. So so you guys, are you using this as a, this is a career job? Are you looking to advance from it? What you, what you, what, what's your purpose? What made you get into it? This is my purpose. Okay. This is what God put in front of me to do. It's not a job because I don't get paid a dime for it. Okay. It's what he put in front of me and said, this is where I want you to be, what I want you to do, and who I want you to work with. Okay, but you handle it. You guys got to get some kind of money in. Nah, right? it, tell me, tell, talk to me. What, it, what, it, it just, it's just like when I was coaching at Brick. Mm -hmm. But now it's we on a We ain't never coached at Brick. Not yeah. Brick. Uh, uh, I ain't uh, never coached at Brick. I ain't never coached at Brick. I don't know where he took that. He's correct. I coached at Brick. He's never coached at Brick. At the Brick Stadium. At the Brick Stadium. When I coached at the Brick Stadium. As it was explained to me last week with the Chief. It's a partnership. Right. It's a partnership. It's a partnership. Okay. It's just like that. When you have the heart to do this, and as you're raised to do this, you, you don't look for the money. Okay. Because when you see them kids going to college and seeing a kid like we had a uh, running back, his, uh, he played with us the first year. The second year, he went to college, and he ended up being second team conference. He did? Yeah. I got another question for you guys. So, say, for instance, a guy started out semi-pro. He's 19. 
Coach, he, I mean, he's a dude for the bandits right now. Mm -hmm. Coach never comes to the game, they see him. And, you know, he still, he get that itch. Mm -hmm. And he said, man, well, I really want to go play play college ball. Mm -hmm. And you like, and he's like, he show up at their practice and he, he on their field the next week. How would you feel about that? Well, first of all, I feel like. Do y'all like have honor amongst each other? Or do, hey, if he show up and he got his fees. Not, you, not I'm going to tell you take, right now. Us, you take us, a guy from his team? Me, me personally, I don't want to. If the guy is already on Stop, the field. I can't listen, get nah, your nah, talk. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> if a guy is already on the field with I somebody love. else. I don't, I don't like messing with that. Okay. And my take, we ain't gonna act like some of them ain't gonna tell you. No, no, coach, mm -hmm. I ain't never. Right. And you gotta find out. But if you already tell me, hey, coach, I, I'm from such and such, and I like y'all jersey better. <laughs> Am I lying? I mean, you bad that. Or hey, coach, they, you know, y'all, y'all put the ball in there, and they don't put it in the air, and I'm a receiver. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. But I, I done played three games over there. It's like, well, you got to play, you yeah. know, three, six, whatever more over there. You know, we don't really want to do do it that way because we again. We're trying to give you the true experience of playing college football. You can't play for Alabama and decide that Nick likes to run the ball, so now you're just going to go to LSU tomorrow and play. You know, yeah. you can do it, but as you're going to go through some loops and some things and things that, like that. There's, there's some things that happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, so, the great thing about this is I can just call him. Right. Hey, was this guy over on your team? Oh, yeah. He, all right. 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 So, I mean, it sounds like y'all got a good working relationship. Hell, man, hey, I'll just call it. Yeah, just call it. Y'all lying. Yeah, yeah, I'm call, being no. honest with you. I'm going to take him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking I, about. I'm just, if he's walking to Walmart, <laughs> he got on a T-shirt, I'm going to take him. I'm just being honest with you. <laughs> Coach B, what you say? Hey, boy. But see, we can't what? just take people we because if they know. not we in college. He got coached up. He can tackle them. <laughs> 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 you don't think about your ass. You know what? I'm going to take him. <laughs> I got it right now. That was going to Coach B. You might want to go to get your few of them sitting on the bench, man. I was, I was out there last <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like we need hey, to get a few of them. But so, Coach B said he got they still in full effect. Y'all better hold on hey, to each other. Hey, it's just, it's he just, just told hey, you straight hey, up. He from New Orleans. Hey, like, he didn't want to get sent to the parking lot, <laughs> Coach. Come here, son. Come just, here. Just, like this, just like this. We all, we've all did this in our life. If she wink. Yeah, Blink, it's on. Hey. Right. That's what how it works. You gotta understand. But sure. guess what? It's a family over here. You gonna have a tough time messing with the family. Oh, man, you I, ever see the family? We always I, got the family. You know, tough time so do you guys play each other this year? We, we have play each other. We year. play in October. That's, October? that's the homecoming we, game. Mm. That's the homecoming. That's the homecoming. Both y'all homecoming. Y'all just call it homecoming. Well, it's, we we uh, we, we, we always play together, so it's gonna be. I've heard a lot of I've heard a lot of things, man. I want to get into this too. I heard a lot of things like. Games are unruly. Kids are un undisciplined. They fight at the game. Let, let's let's be honest. I mean, let's I'm just real, saying. Pro, same approach. I've heard it. Mm -hmm. Guys raise up and they say hike. Hold on. They say hike, and from hike is like. Rrr! You ever watch? You know, the longest yard is so, like, hey. So you know? be real. This is it's just like junior college. You're not always getting that kid. If he had the best discipline, he probably not with me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to teach him discipline. You know what I'm saying? And that's probably true, you know, down the line. That's that those things are gonna happen. So, so how do you handle that, Coach? And you know, being the commissioner of the league and dealing with guys from uh Lafayette and dealing with guys from New Orleans where I have two teams, you dealing with a whole different breed. We don't drug test, man. I don't know who these guys are. You know, majority of the time as far as having meetings and, and social events, you know. It's, so they living their best life and coming out, they might. Yeah, exactly. I just, I just lost three to drug tests. You see, so it, that's that's where your difference is coming. I, I guess I, I gained. I, 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 mean, I mean, honestly, because on my side, I have to treat him the same way he's going to be treated. Because you hand him off, right? Because I'm handing him off. And if I, if I hand you off down the road knowing that you're not going to stop smoking, or you're not gonna go to class or whatever, that other kid that I have to get an opportunity after you, he might not get that opportunity because they're gonna look at me and say, last one you sent me was a dud, coach. All he wanna do is smoke and miss class. And I had to kick a kid off for fighting his own teammate. So kick, him, kick him out the top. For, season ain't even start yet. <laughs> and one of the best players I have seen with my eyes. Oh, well, if I kick the other guy kick off out. the team, it, I wouldn't have a team. So, <laughs> but infidelity, <laughs> out the locker room, I wouldn't have a team. I'm just being honest. So it sounds like everybody's mission is to improve the environment and culture that we live in through football, man, using it as a carrot once again um, to help improve upon life, man, the life 
expectancy of a, of a, of a person that looks like us, whether they're black, white, are indifferent, but manhood, man. It, uh, I salute you guys for what you're doing in our community. Even though you might have had differences before this, I'm sure you came to some common ground today to say, hey, you know what? I, it I is, had it no is. idea what the show was about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just coming. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I just said, come on, Joe. Yeah. Come on, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it, it, I think it worked better that way, yeah. and we were able to talk out some things. And this is the way things should be handled, man. We mm -hmm. able to talk it out. You guys got a different appreciation for the programs, and I'm sure in the future when we see that prep ball versus you know minor league ball game or that jamboree or whatever you guys, hey, call I think it, that'll be a good I jamboree be next a year. Good, a I think good that would fundraiser, a good mm -hmm. community event. You guys should put that together, no. and if right. we need to help y'all get that together, I we can do it. Hey, you know, so, I think it'd be great too. Yeah, really but I look forward it. to it, man. Thank you all, and continue to be great in the community. We will be supporting you guys throughout the season. And um, I look forward to seeing your programs continue to flourish and blossom. Man, appreciate you being on this All About the Youth, man. Ooh, Once Ross. again, we have Ross. Coach Ross Zachpan, head coach, Bayou Prep Gators. Good deal. Number one, Baton Rouge Museum. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Bean, Southern American Football League, Baton Rouge River Bowl Bandits, oldest minor league football team in the South. Quinn Dixon, Coach Q, head coach of Louisiana Prep, D Prep. <laughs> In Baton Rouge. Well, you hear they all with D and the <laughs> and one. <laughs> you ain't never seen a puppy be the gator in your life. All oh. right, but we're a pit bull, baby. It's all good. <laughs> and we appreciate you. We'll be back on It's All About the Youth. You heard it yourself, Prep Ball versus Semi Pro. For every color rush jersey purchased, the NFL donates to youth programs nationwide. Caleb Dansburg, center. For guys like Caleb, let's light up the neighborhood. say great job, congratulations, or way to go? Crown Trophy on Sherwood Forest Boulevard in Baton Rouge has the trophy, plaque, acrylic, or crystal award you're looking for. Whether it's for your team, business, or church, come to Crown Trophy. We guarantee the highest level of customer service, and there's no charge for rush orders or trophy engraving. We're nationally known and locally owned. Visit us online to view our catalog at www.crowntrophy.com. For every color rush jersey purchased, the NFL donates to youth programs nationwide. For guys like these, let's light up the neighborhood. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling. Nothing can. the feeling. At Roadrunner Towing, we love our God, our children, our nation, and yes, our sports. So, let's play ball. big when you need to tow, either in East Baton Rouge or West Baton Rouge. Because at Road Runner Towing, we don't want an arm and a leg, we you just want your toes. Yeah! For every Color Rush jersey purchased, the NFL donates to youth programs nationwide. Dylan Evans running back. For guys like Dylan. Yeah, baby. Let's light up the neighborhood. Welcome back to It's All About the Youth. 
Hey man, if you missed the beginning of this, you missed some good stuff. Yeah, it was a good show. It's going. It, it's, it's a good show. Hey, Dude, I'm gonna tell you, man. Uh, and, and as you can see, I've been working out. I was gonna go play with Joe Bean on the semi pro, but I ain't for knocking my head. I'm he just, said I'm just, gonna knock head. Yeah. He said he had time to teach you. How <laughs> yeah, he's gonna teach me. You that. learn how to tackle this on your body. <laughs> I believe and I still I wonder, got four years. So I might you, go do that prep thing. Okay, man. you keep on. Keep on. You ain't got no, your eligibility is over. You he, got five degrees. Joe said he'll take you eight to 80. He eight don't to eight, care. blind, crippled. Shoot. Not crazy. Not crazy. Half of them crazy. Half of them crazy. Yeah, that was interesting, man. He said, you say still out the locker, I'm going to have no team. I'm telling you, man, the, the show really changed my whole out view on 13th grade right because you know we'd have had conversations and i said prep wasn't i was holding on to 13th grade till we got to i said <laughs> it was 13th you know, grade we call it 13th grade when you play yeah. prep ball. It was 13th, prep grade. Ball, you're 13th grade yeah i mean you're going to another grade and you're really not out of high school right. per you, se you tw you're a tweener you yeah i don't quite have it together but i i'm better than you know yeah. But but the guys really the prep guys really in, informed us on I mean because they're right about it Louisiana mm -hmm. don't have any junior college right which is so, crazy that we put out per capita some of the most elite and best athletes and most but the sad thing about it is if we did have some junior colleges it would take some away. of our colleges would right. fail yeah right. some of the lower colleges if if BRCC started a football program right now Southern University would be over at BRCC on Florida Boulevard they probably would. Because those kids will be looking for that chance to go to the to next go level. Bigger. So it'll yep. be straight. So I'm glad it's not uh, killing my alma mater, man. We don't have the, that junior college route. But my son had to go all the way to Arkansas to play junior college ball. So That's tough. It's always mm -hmm. tough. But I also looked at, you know, a lot of viewpoints, man, of, of them saying, man, this is an opportunity for a guy to find something to do with that extracurricular time to keep him involved in something other than getting into something well, he didn't need to be doing. I'm going to tell you, the great thing about it is that we didn't have kids that came from our program. Louisiana Youth Football, not Brick. Q almost got pulled off the stage I'll, for saying you that. Saw that. I saw you saw that. Brick is up, a man. great community partner for us, and, and we appreciate the partnership, but we are Louisiana Youth Football. Yeah, we but use we have, Brick facilities. Yeah, we do use that's Brick facilities. That's we use their facilities. That's it. That's yeah, like we're shooting the show here at uh, – Scoreboards, Scoreboard. but we don't own scoreboards, and scoreboards we don't own the show. We own LYSN, <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, we had kids who actually came to our program who played on the prep side right. of it, but we also had kids who played, and, and I like the way that uh, – Coach Bean said it, Joe said it, man, it's not semi-pro. I mean, I'm going to change my verbiage. Right, like, I try league. to get people to stop saying brick. I'm going right. to change my ver verbiage as well. Minor league football sounds a whole lot better because it takes that, oh, he getting paid. Right. Oh, he about to go play for the Saints afterwards. It's just that guy. We have a kid, Chester Rogers, mm -hmm. that played in our league, one of the littlest kids in our league. Went on, played at uh, – Played with the Falcons, went on, played at Broadmoor. He plays minor league football now. Right. And he said, I saw him at practice because they were practicing out by Memorial. And he said, well, Coach, I just want to play football. Right. I just enjoy the game, so I still want to play it. And I have a real job right. <laughs> and so a family. I, I know a lot of guys, man. I, uh, Coach Rock. Coach Rock. Coach Rock. Coach yeah. Rock been playing football, man. <laughs> Coach Rock is a – and he's a buddy of mine, a good friend of mine. He's he's battled cancer, came back, shook back after cancer, went back out there playing football and after play football. that. Exactly. And he still plays. Still play. I, know, I just saw him doing a – Shout out to my boy Rock. <laughs> I just you know? saw him uh, when we were doing 7 on 7. And Rock said, well, no, nah, I let them young bucks – like like Joe say, I let them young bulls out there practice all that hard I'm stuff. I'm getting on the line. <laughs> I get on the line, yeah. I'm moving five yards, <laughs> ten yards at the most. You know? Yeah, exactly. So I, I look at this, man, I'll tell you, man, it's been, it's been great, man, looking at the preseason of football. Oh, man, you saw the money today? No, oh, you, my God. You Michael seen, Thomas got paid. He did. But we got to go back to this. That prep football versus minor league football game. He got paid, <laughs> though. I got to talk about <laughs> He got a hundred million dollars. I'm about to, you guaranteed. letting them hold out. I don't want them to hold He held out and got that money. I don't want them to hold out. We going to play that game. <laughs> yeah, Michael Thomas did get paid. But we're going to play that game. <laughs> Ross, so, you say you can play it. You got some bulls. Joe say he got some old bulls. So the, they going to walk down the hill. <laughs> Y'all might run down the hill, but they going to walk down so, the hill. So the prep guys, are. do you know what they said, though? Michael Thomas got paid today. You know why I brought Michael Thomas' name up, Coach? Why? Because he played prep ball. That ah, what? <laughs> you didn't even catch that. Uh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah, 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 but anyway, I like to see the old bulls now, versus. The, that's what we should call it. The old bulls versus the young bulls. Young, that's what it is. We're gonna have a classic. It's gonna be at Memorial Stadium. 
What day y'all open? I'm just trying to try throw it out that night. Y'all ready to play? Y'all got uniforms? They got some uniforms. We got some to put you on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. no. got some uniforms? But it'll, it'll be great. I, we're going we're gonna to put it out there right now. Semi-pro. Uh, no, old bulls versus, old like bulls you versus young bulls. The bull so, show. The bull, the battle of the bulls. <laughs> bull rumble. Bull rush. <laughs> we gonna take, hey, marketing gonna work on it. We're gonna we, have something. Next week, you we gonna get what I'm marketing. By, by the time we come back next week, we'll yep, talk about it. By this weekend, you'll have a graphic out there. I'm gonna tempt y'all. <laughs> the bulls, battle but yeah, of the bulls. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm serious about the game, man. It, yeah. This is something, because again, to bring you guys together, because before this show, it wasn't that. We were dealing Communal. with they say. They yeah, say. It they, was, y'all didn't say know each other. Because right. I talked to all the gr- different right. groups. That's why I, I didn't tell y'all each other was going to be on the show. But I wanted to bring y'all on because I wanted y'all to be able to come with an open mind, open heart. And you guys did it on the show, man. The information that you gave us, the information that you can give to kids that's coming out of high school. And then also for those guys that's walking in Walmart. I got to go to Walmart later on the day. Joe, if I see somebody, I'm telling them about you. If he, if he has on those slippers, <laughs> you know, he's walking on the edge of the slippers on the back. I know he ain't really trying to go to college. So, <laughs> so what I'm going to tell him is, look here, man. You, need, you don't have to play semi-pro. You can play minor league football, big dog. And still get to play. Your, but I'm looking for him, Coach. He gonna have them look, the slippers. You know, you know the ones, the all in ones. Well, Joe, I'm telling you, I go to I go to Walmart late at night. So if he's stocking more than two boxes at a time, he might be your guy. <laughs> if he's just picking up one frosted flake and putting up that, nah, you don't want him, Joe. <laughs> you don't want no, him. No tell one him, go frosted flake band. Yeah, go get your education, he needs to man. Move them potatoes, a sack of potatoes, baby. You got to be real with. <laughs> It'd be but, good. For, but no, dudes. We, we, uh, we're serious about actually the game. I mean, because a lot of stuff are born out of this uh, the show, man. And this is probably want to be one of the best things that we bring to city. Because it would be good for the city. It would be good for the kids that don't have anything to do. Like Joe said, the guys that he's getting that keeping them out of trouble. There's guys that need to keep out of trouble. And then those guys who want to go You know to what else? We have a lot of kids that play in our league. They're dads play on these. In these <laughs> exactly, yeah. So I get to see my daddy. Play ball football. out. Oh, exactly. This probably sometimes the only time I get to see my daddy. You so, know, I mean, so, uh, I, I, <laughs> I, it, he wrong for that. <laughs> he, he wrong for that. I mean, I'm just you said it. Just, it was too old. Just thinking out loud. That's you just thinking out loud. I was gonna run zone read, but then I saw it. I was like, it's football season. Why not? Hey man, go to your little league kid. Go to your your son game sometime. I know you want to keep playing football. And I support semi-pro, <laughs> minor, minor league. <laughs> but go to your son game too, man. Talk about you got to play. Talk about you. I got a game. I got a game too, son. <laughs> Let me borrow your chair strap. <laughs> what are we doing? You wrong, man. See you. Got how you one know I was going to act like I got one piece for everybody. <laughs> nah, Talk about give me your shoe strings. I took your show to pass. <laughs> Y'all gonna play today? <laughs> oh, but no, seriously though, our homecoming is October. Louisiana Anthony football homecoming is October 5th and 6th yeah. and that's why I was asking the uh, the prep guys if their game was actually on October 5th or 6th because that would be great that we would be a great thing that we could spotlight yeah as Y'all a matter of fact man we, we're looking at broadcasting uh, that may be something a that live broadcast with. of a game L-Y-S-N-T-V, on, on LYSN TV man you know <laughs> I, we want to see. We want to see. I want to see if a the pit bull, bulldog versus a, a gator. Bull what would happen? Can a pit bull be the <laughs> gator? Yeah, if a pit bull can be the gator. I want to see if it'll happen. Will a gator roll the pit bull, or will that pit bull lock on it? Hey, and, and we want to do it when we have our capacity the, fans. I mean, at our homecoming. If you Ross, ever, as a matter of fact. Those two prep coaches are former coaches in our program, yeah, so they they know how it is. Right, homecoming is when we bring out the street. The show, man. Where everybody come out. We've the been show. doing it for fifteen. This is our fifteen year anniversary. Fifteen year, baby. It's our anniversary. Fifteen. It's our Christian year anniversary. So, man, the kids taught me this. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, what we're trying to do, man, it, that would be a great showcase to our homecoming right. weekend, man. To have two former coaches actually play on that. Come bring some prep kids, and the fact that we probably have some kids that actually come from our program that's right. in that pro, prep program. For real, program. so we'll get a chance so to highlight October those 5th, kids. October fifth, coach. Man, y'all make that happen. Y'all, y'all prep need, school, man. Y'all can do whatever. Y'all, y'all can move y'all games. Y'all can move y'all games around, man. Call the people. How much hey. it costs, man? How much cost? How much cost? <laughs> Look, we can move that around. Don't How worry, about it. coach. We can go <laughs> lock. We're gonna lock it in, fans. If you want to see the Bulldogs versus the, the Gators, pit bulls, man. The pit bull. <laughs> 
The puppets versus the, the nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> the pit bulls the lizards take on the versus, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, here we go. If you want to see the pit bulls versus the gators, you need to come down to Memorial Stadium on the October 5th. And it's going down. And then if you want to see the old bulls versus the young bulls. That's going to be that following week. As a matter of fact, we're going to put we, them we all might together. do that that following week. We're going to In put, November. Okay. Well, as a matter of fact, that may be your last game in November. We'll do that during our Day of Champions. That'll that, be a great thing. That yeah. way we have it all I'm telling you, man, we're sh we shaking up the city. Hey. we bringing football to the city. We're uniting football, man. Hey, that's, that's our job. Yeah. I always say, man, what's our why? 15 years ago, our why was to bring a better level of football from every age group, and it's still our why right now. Right. 15 years later, our why is still the same. I'm not telling you what we do. Because everybody does football. Right. That doesn't, I'm not selling that. I'm not going to tell you how we do it because everybody plays football. Right. We're telling you why we do it. Why we, we do it. We want to bring a different level of football, a different level of game for every age group without charging an arm and a leg to do it. Right. This is something that we want to do. And why do we do it? Because it's all, all about, about the youth, youth baby. That's we our thing. We love you, man. Hey, man, <laughs> if you don't love us, <laughs> and you need to try it. And don't forget, come Put out. We, we, we tape our heart. show live on Wednesdays. It's Wild Wing Wednesdays, 50 Cent Wings. Eat all the smoke wings you want to. Eat till you get big. Joe needs you big. Joe, Joe B needs you big. Yeah, he needs some fat linemen. Joe so come said out. he wants some big linemen. <laughs> so come out and eat some of the wings. And get your own mouthpiece. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Yeah, this is this is our show, man. It's all about the youth. All Thank about the for youth, coming baby. out. Appreciate you. <laughs> Take care. For every color rush jersey purchased, the NFL donates to youth programs nationwide. For guys like these. Let's light up the neighborhood. It's only entertainment. Not entertained. Are you?